Tonight, a community grieves over the loss of a Selma High School student. The 16 year old died Tuesday during school hours after first responders showed up to the school for a medical emergency. Yeah, the loss is being felt across the community and state officials have now joined Selma police in the investigation. WSFA 12 News reporter Monet Stevens live with more tonight and Monet. This has to be a difficult time to say the least. Absolutely, Mark. Students and staff at Selma High School are still in shock 24 hours after the traumatic situation. One Selma parent told me the student went unconscious in the cafeteria in front of other students. He was administered Narcan in an attempt to resuscitate him, but it was unsuccessful. The student was later taken to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead. Selma Superintendent Dr. Zykeus Bird said students have had trouble processing their peers' death. But we just want our parents to know, of course, what, and that our schools are safe. Uh, and, of course, uh, we have poured many resources into making sure that our students, that they feel safe. Uh, of course, uh, we, we have a full staff uh, on today. Uh, we have searched our buildings. We have cleaned our buildings. And, and our building is safe, uh, and we're ready for our students uh, to return when they feel as though that they are ready. Selma Mayor James Perkins released a statement on Wednesday saying, in short, there is nothing more painful than losing a child, adding that he knew the deceased student and loved him like his own. Now, the mayor also asked the community to cooperate with law enforcement and not make any, quote, unproven statements that could interfere with the investigation. Mark. Monet, thank you so much. It is somewhat of a mystery still, the cause of the death under investigation. Both Sel Selma Police and Dallas County uh, uh, Sheriff's deputies are part of that investigation, and they are being assisted by the State Bureau of Investigation.